Let's be real about something. Objectively speaking, Windows 11 sucks. It's slower than Windows 10, still comes with pre-installed apps that you don't need, add even more with updates, insists on you creating a Microsoft account and syncing your stuff to their cloud storage OneDrive, and even if you disable all of that, after some updates it just bothers you again. So the question is, why don't we all just switch over to Linux? No forced online accounts, but you can still add them if you want to, no forced advertisements, no applications that might intrude your privacy, just your computer with an operating system that quite literally allows you to change anything about it. These are just some of the reasons on why switching makes sense, but is all of that really a concern? What if you just don't feel the need to switch if everything just works on Windows? Well I can promise you that by the end of this video you'll have a much better viewpoint if Linux or Windows are suited better for you. And let's get straight into it. Like I'm gonna be honest with you, most don't really care on what's running on their PC as long as it is familiar enough so that they perceive it as usable. But the thing is, they desire not to upgrade to Windows 11 or in some cases even to Windows 10, which is kind of wild to be honest, is there. People really don't like it when something they know changes and in some cases they can't even change it back. Sometimes it's something that rarely anyone uses, like not placing the taskbar at the bottom, which Windows 11 forces nowadays. Other times it might be the integration of a web browser that just can't be removed. Not that long ago I installed Windows on my Microsoft Surface again, just to have a Windows machine in case I need some b-roll footage, and I spent like one and a half hours straight simply removing everything that I don't need. Those pre-installed apps, Microsoft Office, which for some reason refused to be removed via the office removal tool and disabling some telemetry. I did use Chris Titus script, but the fact that I have to use it if I want a clean install is just laughable really. On Linux, I basically set up the distribution, only remove a couple of programs that I might not need in a few minutes and I'm already ready to install everything else. It only takes me around 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the computer's performance, to basically create my baseline configuration. Sure, many don't do the deploading part, but if you have the option between a Windows setup and a Linux setup, then why wouldn't you go for the faster one in the first place? But Linux is so difficult, you have to choose the right distribution that works best for your hardware, flash it to a USB stick and so on and so forth. Well, it isn't actually that hard. Windows has a certain comfort to it, as it's pre-installed on your system, but their setup wizard is also not the best. While you can get through it as someone who has never set up an operating system before, if you are not careful, you are sharing more of your data than you might know. If your Microsoft account is linked to a credit card or bank account, maybe because you used to buy some apps on the Microsoft store, then there is also a good chance that you might accidentally set up a trial for a paid subscription. It definitely shows a buy screen, which should be recognizable, but trust me, many users just don't know. The only hard part of installing Linux is not creating a live USB stick, since if you have to reinstall Windows or set it up from scratch, you essentially follow the exact same pattern, but are just using a different tool. Anyway, let's move on. Let's say you don't care about all that, are fine with the installation, you are connecting to your Microsoft account and are maybe only removing some programs that annoy you. Fine. If you are happy with that, then good. But if you can have the exact same experience with an operating system that doesn't ask you all of these things in the first place, then which one would you choose? There are of course use cases where Windows is still better than Linux. Corporations usually stick to Windows and typically you can't just install Linux on a work PC without the IT department having a word with you. If you are a freelancer and use programs from Adobe, maybe because you were trained on them, maybe because you require features that are not available in open source solutions, or maybe you rely on templates and tutorials for your work. Maybe you are a gamer that plays games with kernel level anti-cheat like Valorant, Rainbow Six Siege, Fortnite or Call of Duty. While Linux often offers alternatives to Windows solutions, in some cases not even worse, they are just different enough that they either cause problems in mixed environments or just make you feel uncomfortable. For gamers it's a weird situation. For most games it's as easy as to just click on play and it will run, except the ones with anti-cheat that are either not configured for Linux support or are just straight up not compatible due to the used custom kernel solution. There are a lot of politics involved in the topic, like many suggesting that you should never ever allow a program of a third party to run at the kernel level, potentially monitoring everything that you see, input or listen to on your PC. 
Most of these conspiracies are probably not real, but we already had a couple of examples of how a misconfigured program or their Microsoft signature of being allowed to run at kernel level can be abused or result in outages. Be that as it may, at the end of the day, this is for the user to decide. If I wanted to play Valorant and this is the price, then of course I'm going to pay it, simple as that. But many just don't play those games. They are usually the most popular ones, yes, but out of all the games that exist on the market, they are still only a fraction. And if you're someone that plays those other games, then again you need to ask yourself this. If I can do everything that I can do on Windows, then why don't I just use Linux? Microsoft is not going to stop annoying you with subscriptions, funky behavior like receiving Windows 10 updates if you sync your passwords to OneDrive. What? Or just interrupting your experience with forced updates. The question is not should you switch to Linux, it's rather why would you stay on Windows if you could have the exact same experience on a different operating system. Yes, the incompatibilities remain, but this video is not for those that are affected by this. It's for those that could have a better experience on Linux and you should really ask yourself, are you willing to continue using an operating system that is essentially just a marketing machine or are you going to take matters into your own hands? Whatever that answer might be, I don't judge you. In the end, you should be happy with the operating system that you prefer. And that's where I'll leave it. So what do you think? Do you agree with my points on why someone might want to switch to Linux? Do you even think that it matters at all? Please let us know in the comment section down below. Before I end this video, I quickly wanted to mention that if you want to support the channel make even better videos, then please feel free to check out our membership program as well as our online shop, whereas each sale helps to support various open source projects. If you've liked this video, then please make sure to show it with a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future Linux videos just like this one. Thank you for watching and all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are, I'll see you around.